So quantum numbers are four numbers that describe an address of an electron, where the electron is located in this big electron cloud that surrounds the atom. So electrons are going to go in orbitals. They'll either go in the s orbital, the p orbital, or the d orbital. The s orbital will hold uh, up to two electrons. The p orbital will hold six electrons, each one spin up or spin down. And the d orbital will hold up to 10 electrons five slots, each one spin up or spin down. So the quantum numbers for the 3s orbital part A for this problem is very easy. Okay, so this number here is the principal quantum number. 3, 4, and 3 will represent the principal quantum number. The row in the periodic table where the element is housed that has these 3s electrons. 3s is basically just one slot, one orbital, and the electrons will go spin up and then spin down. So the address of this electron, I'll just put a dot here, is going to be, um, again, it's N, L, M sub L, and M sub S. So N is going to be 3. L for S orbital is 0. M sub L, because there's no other slot, so that's also going to be 0. And uh, here, the dot electron is going to be plus 1 half, because I have it spin uh, up. And for the 3s orbital here in gray is going to be the exact same thing except what's unique is that it's spin down and for spin down it's going to be minus one half. So the s orbital is pretty easy. Okay, now when we go to the 4p orbital, um, the 4p orbital is a little bit different. So the 4p orbital, the p orbital is a shape like a dumbbell, one along the x, one along the y, and one along the z. And the way the electrons are going to go in a p orbital, unlike the s orbital, is they'll all first go spin up, spin up, spin down. And then instead of going to a next higher energy level, they'll just pair up, spin down, spin down, spin down. So now we have six locations for these electrons. So let's do this first one here, the dot. So the principal quantum number is 4, okay, because this is a 4p orbital. And for a p orbital, uh, the code is that um, it's uh, the m sub l, or excuse me, the l is 1. So that's what a p orbital designation is. And where in that p orbital is it going? Sort of the orientation quantum number, this third quantum number. So remember, the middle number, middle slot gets 0. Then we just go left in sequence and to the right in sequence, so to the right and to the left in sequence. So here this electron by the dot is in the minus one location and it's spin one half. Let's look at this electron here with the arrow. Okay, that's going to be exactly the same except it's uh, the only difference is that it's spin down so it's going to be minus one half. Okay, let's look at this electron. I'll call it electron three. So electron 3 is going to be 4. It's still in the p orbital, which has a angular momentum quantum number of 1, because 1 uh, signifies a p orbital. Um, and it's in slot 0, and I have it as spin 1 half. And then let's call this electron 4 here. So electron 4 will be exactly the same, except it's spin minus 1 half. And then let's just do here in gray, or we'll keep it in green, 5 and 6. So electron 5 here, electron 5 here is going to be 4. It's still a p orbital, which designate, is designated as 1. The m sub l here, now it's in slot plus 1. And I have it as spin 1 half. And then electron 6 is going to be exactly the same, except it's in position minus 1 half. So those are all of the quantum numbers for a p orbital. Now a 3d orbital is going to get uh, even more complicated uh, because you see the d orbital, while the p orbital has um, three slots, uh, the d orbital has five slots. All right, so this is doing uh, the problem part c here for a 3d orbital. So uh, remember our uh, address here, n, l, m sub l, m sub s. And um, so n is going to be 3, always. That's the th principal quantum number. How do the electrons go? They march spin up, spin up, spin up, spin up, and spin up. Instead of going to a higher energy level, they'll start pairing spin down. 
and that will fill up a 3D orbital. So we have 10 of these. So let's do uh, all of these. So let's do this one first. It's going to be 3. Now L for a D orbital is going to be 2. Okay. While L for an S orbital is 0. And L for a P orbital is 1. L for a D orbital is going to be 2. Now what slot is it going in? The third quantum number. Always uh, remember that uh, the middle slot gets 0. And then we just um, go numerically left and right. So this electron here is going to be in the minus 2 slot, and it's plus 1 half. And then the pair is the same thing, except it is minus 1 half. This electron here is going to be in the d, which is the orbital that's signified by L equals 2. It's in the minus 1 slot, and it's plus 1 half. Its pair is exactly the same, except it's minus one half spin down. Okay, so, so one is spin up, the other is spin down. Okay, what about this electron here? Same principal quantum number. Same principal quantum number. Its L is always will be two for a d orbital. This is in the zero slot. It's in plus one half spin up. And its uh, partner is exactly the same. The only difference is it's spin down minus 1 half. Same thing with this situation. Everything is the same, except it's in, located in uh, the third quantum number position, orientation quantum number plus 1. It's spin 1 half. Its partner is exactly the same. But what makes it different is that it's spin down, spin minus 1 half. And then last but not least, this is electron is housed in the 3 orbital. D uh, means L equals 2. The orientation quantum number or the third quantum number is plus 2. It's spin 1 half. And its partner is exactly the same, but different. Different in the sense that it's spin minus 1 half. So you notice here for 3D orbital, we have 10 electrons. And these are the addresses, quote unquote, for all 10 electrons that are housed in a 3D orbital.